What time do we start? Well, I think we're time to have some questions. Have well, we why some don't questions? we have... Why don't, oh, no, let's read one more sketch at the end. All right. What do you want? You, I think I want you to write the book, the read the bookshop sketch. It's around, it's around about 300. And it was a sketch I did with Marty Feldman. So you've got to, got to play the Marty Feldman bit. But we'll just have to keep talking until we find it. Uh, I make it 310. You make 310? Yeah. Bloody now, um, well done. Now, am I Mr. Pest? Yes. OK. <laughs> Mr. Pest, Marty always played a character of Mr. Pest who would come in and I would be there in a suit and he'd drive me mad, basically. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it says, a quite spacious bookshop. A customer, Mr. Pest, enters and approaches the counter behind which stands an assistant. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, can you help me? Do you have a copy of 30 Days in the Samarkand Desert with a Spoon by A. E. J. Eliot? Uh, well, we haven't got it in stock, sir. Never mind. Uh, how about 101 ways to start a monsoon? <laughs> by? Uh, an Indian gentleman whose name eludes me for the moment. Yes, I'm sorry, I don't know the book, sir. Uh, not to worry, not to worry. Uh, can you help me with David Copperfield? Ah, yes, Dickens. No. <laughs> I beg your pardon? No. Edmund Wells. I think you'll find Charles Dickens wrote David Copperfield. Uh, no, Charles Dickens wrote David Copperfield with two Ps. <laughs> this is David Copperfield with one P by Edmund Wells. Well, in that case, we don't have it. Oh, funny, you've got a lot of books here. Yes, we do have quite a, <laughs> quite a lot of books here. We don't have David Copperfield with one P by Edward Wells. We only have David Copperfield with two Ps by Charles Dickens. Pity. It's more thorough than the Dickens. <laughs> more thorough? Yes. I wonder if it's worth having a look through all your David Copperfields. I'm quite sure all our David Copperfields have two Ps. <laughs> Probably, but the first edition by Edmund Wells also had two Ps. <laughs> it was after that they ran into copyright difficulties. No, I, I can assure you that all our David Copperfields with two Ps are by Charles Dickens. How about Great Expectations? Ah, yes, well, we have that. That's G-R-A-T-E, Expectations. <laughs> also by Edmund Wells. I see. Well, in that case, we don't, have, we don't have anything by Edmund Wells. Actually, he's not very popular. <laughs> not Nicholas Nickleby. What? That's K-N-I-C-K-E. No, no. Or Christmas Quarrel with a Q. Definitely not. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you. Oh. Not at, all. Not at oh, all. I wonder if you have a copy of Ronnie Budge. No, as I said, we're right out of Edmund Wells. No, not Edmund Wells, Charles Dickens. <laughs> Charles Dickens? Yes. You mean Barnaby Rudge? No. Hmm? Ronnie Budge <laughs> by Charles Dickens. That's Dickens with two Ks. <laughs> The well-known Dutch author. No, we don't have Ronnie Budge by Charles Dickens with two Ks, the well-known Dutch author. Perhaps to save time, I should add right away, we don't have Carnaby Fudge by Dulls Dickens <laughs> or Stickwick Staples by Miles Pickens with four M's and a silent Q. Why don't you try the drugstore? I did. They sent me here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Jack.